Have you ever been dating or in a relationship with someone and you weren't 100% sure of their words or their actions? Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about five things that a man will say if he's using you. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now look, nobody should be using anybody. No man should be using a woman and no woman should be using a man either. But if we're open and honest, this happens all the time. And we have to realize that it happens on both ends. But in today's video, we're going to be specifically talking about when a man uses a woman and the things that he will say. Now, y'all know we got to have a little chitty chat in the comment section. Let me know some things that a man has told you if you felt like they've been using you. Or if you're a man in the chat, let me know some things that you've told a woman if you were using them too. Ooh. Now, when I think of someone using someone, the number one thing that comes to my mind is them using someone for financial reasons. Can you think about some movies, some shows, some songs, some times when the man has used a woman based on financial gain? So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I'm in between work and jobs right now and I can't take care of my rent. So do you mind paying it for me? Oh, I ain't got no groceries at the house. So I'm gonna come over to your house. Then you could buy the groceries and cook the meal for me too. Oh, I thought Thought that my check was gonna be more so do you mind throwing me and cash at me twenty dollars for gas money <laughs> no i'm not saying all of that to be funny but those are very realistic things where men use women women use men too like i've already said but these are just some examples where men go the extra length to use a woman. Now I'm not saying in all of the examples and all of the times where men use women that they are some bum and some loser and that's all they use women for. But that's the number one thing that comes to my mind when I think about using someone, financial gain and financial reasons. So outside of money, let's talk about these five things. And actually it's going to be six because I got a little bonus in here that I need to throw in and talk to you guys about. But the first thing and how you know a man is using you is if he says, I need space or I'm too busy. Not only is him saying these things creating distance from you because he makes it feel like he got something more important to do. But what it also speaks to is an unequal contribution to this relationship or dating situation. So when he wants something from you, you're like, okay, cool. Oh, sure no problem come on over I'll make time no not a big deal okay that's fine but as soon as you want something from him it's nah I'm too busy nah I need some space nah I can't do that this week um this is a telltale sign that this man is using you because you've given to him and he is not reciprocating the second thing that a man will say when he is using you is I'm not looking for anything serious right now. So I'm gonna tell myself, I was in a dating situation years, and I'm talking about probably like a decade ago where I was dating this guy and he kept telling me that he didn't want anything serious with his words, but his actions were saying otherwise. Like we would hang out all the time. He would take me on dates. We would be doing all of the things, but his words weren't really matching up. So I was trying to go off of his actions not taking my own advice, okay? And realizing that the words and the actions have to align. And then there came a point where I was just like, bruh, at this point, we're basically in a relationship without a title. How are you sitting up here saying that you don't want anything serious right now? But one thing that I do know about a man is that if he's telling you that he doesn't want anything serious, believe him because he will not make the commitment to make you his girlfriend or take the relationship to the next level. So I should have been smart enough and left that fool a long time ago, but I was so hopeful because I really liked him. And sometimes when we really like someone, it colors our perspective and it makes us delusional for us to do things that are not healthy. So I'm sharing that example. So that can be an encouragement to you if you find yourself in a similar situation. Because essentially what I was doing, and hopefully you're not doing this, I was giving my time, I was giving my energy, I was giving my resources. I was helping him with business stuff. I was doing all of these things and he was getting all of these benefits without getting a full relationship from me. So he was using me and ain't nobody using me ever again. <laughs> the third thing that a man will say if he might be using you is you're lucky to have me or nobody else will put up with you. What this does, it speaks to a manipulation tactic that he is trying to put on you to make you feel less than, that you ain't ish, 
that nobody else is going to want you. So that means he's keeping you in a space and a mind frame where he just wants you all to himself. Now, hopefully you're not falling for this one because essentially they're lowering your self-esteem and it's emotionally abusive to be telling somebody nobody's going to want you. Nobody's going to put up with you. You're lucky to have me. Excuse me. I am also the prize. It's not just about you, but I bring a lot to this table too. So I think when a man does this, this tactic helps him to have the upper hand and he has the upper hand because he's manipulating your emotions. And we know that women are more emotional beings. So if a man can manipulate us emotionally, baby, other manipulation tactics will work too. The fifth thing that a man could say to you if he's using you is you're too sensitive or you're overthinking things. This is a complete dismissal of your feelings, your thoughts, your concerns, and anything else you are bringing to the table to speak with him about. He might say something like this to manipulate you because it pushes him away from having to have real, thoughtful, engaging, legitimate conversations when issues arise. So if you bring something to the table saying, hey, I don't like this, you did this or this happened, he dismisses your feelings by saying you're too sensitive, you're overthinking, that's not a big deal and minimizes the thing that is a big deal to you. Because we all know that in a healthy, thriving dating or relationship, the person is supposed to be loving, to be kind and to be receptive of what you have to say, no matter if it's big, small or in between. So basically don't let him manipulate you to thinking that the things that you care about are small and minimal. The fifth thing that a man will say if he's using you before we get into the bonus is, I'm not comfortable with labels or why do we have to define things? Listen, one thing that I know, like I told you guys about the little personal story that I gave you earlier, that when a man is interested and in wanting to move forward with you, he will make that crystal clear from the get go. He's not going to be playing all of these games and going back and forth with you because he doesn't want to run the risk of another man coming along and swooping up the good thing, which is you. So when a man is intentional about you, when he's not just doing well, one of the things we talked to earlier and saying, well, I don't want anything serious right now. But when he's doing all of those things, what it's doing is just creating more of an uncertainty of what your future will look like together. He's telling you that he wants something casual without a clear commitment. And that also means he probably going to be wasting your time, your energy, your resources your sex if you having sex with them and so much more. So to be honest, this is another thing that a man can say that can kind of string you along and make you continuously feel like he's using you. And last but not least is the bonus, which is one of the things that a man will do if he's using you is by telling you, I'm focused on my career right now. Using a busy career as an excuse to avoid a relationship it's understandable when you are in the building and the grinding phase of a career or a business. I get it. I've been there. But on the flip side, there's another aspect of this that we don't talk about enough is that when you are truly for real, for real busy building a career or a business, you're not intentional of creating time for dating. You're not intentional of creating time to create more space for your partner. It emphasizes your own priorities, your own concerns and all of the things and pushes the other things to the side. And we can't say that we want a healthy, thriving relationship and or marriage and not prioritize this very thing. So if he's saying he's too focused on your career, that means you're going to get the crumbs, sis. That means you're going to get the leftover stuff on the side when I have time, if I have the money, when I make space versus you being a priority. And this is a way of him using you because all he had to do was just say, you know what? I'm not going to be dating anybody right now as I'm being intentional about my career. But no, he wants to be intentional about his career. Be super busy with that, but also just give you whatever. No, 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 sis. You deserve so much more than that. So let me give my final thoughts on this. And my final thought is you should not be in a space where you allow a man to use you. This goes back to knowing your worth knowing your value, prioritizing yourself, understanding that you have so many amazing and unique qualities on the inside of you that any man should appreciate. And I also want to encourage you not to accept the crumbs, baby. You do not deserve little crumbs that are left over. You deserve a whole cake, okay? Not a slice, not a piece, and not a taste. You deserve the whole dang thing. So don't settle for less. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.